You know, after the first trip away in the van, there were a lot of items I had identified that needed to be addressed, changed, or, you know, altered slightly. And one of the things that I want to take care of first is an issue that I have with the bed. And that is that the lids on the bed, the opening sections, um, one is hinged, one isn't. Um, so there's two sections. The cushions on the top don't line up perfectly, perfectly with the boards underneath. So what happens is when you lift one board, it tends to lift two cushions up instead of just the one cushion that is above the lid. So I'm going to make an alteration to the boards. I'm going to make one board shorter uh, and the section that I cut off will just become um, a permanent non-moving section. So uh, I will have three sections to the bed. A lifting part, a static part, and then a second lifting part. Uh, that will solve my issue. Um, and also I will put some hinges on the second part because quite frankly, I can't understand why I didn't do it in the first place. some hinges on the other side. The question is, do I have any hinges? I'm not sure. I just went and bought some more hinges. They're not the biggest ones, but it's the only ones that they had, so I'm going to see if I can make those work. I also picked up a couple of packets of these magnetic catches because they're awesome and they're way cheaper in the small shop than they are in the big one, so yeah, I picked up some of those. And finally, like, you know, way into the build, I picked up some safety glasses. I might wear those while I'm eating a sandwich. Tuna can be very dangerous. Now that I've addressed the issue of the boards lifting more than one cushion when, uh, when I'm trying to access the storage underneath, I'm moving on to another issue with the bed that I have and that's the fact that uh, to lift the boards up to get to the storage, uh, there's, there's no device. There's a couple of holes in the top but that still means that you need to put your hand underneath the cushion, find the hole and then kind of lift it up, lever it up and it's not easy, it's a little bit awkward. Uh, the device or the, the solution that I've come up with is to use these fabric straps. Uh, these are slightly elasticated and these were from a self-inflating mattress that I bought and these are just to, they just go around, around the mattress when it's rolled up and I don't need that, I have another solution for that so I've, I've got two of these and my plan is to, to screw these underneath the boards and they will just dangle slightly outside underneath the cushion 
and I'll be able to lift up the boards using those. Uh, these brackets, I do need to tidy these up slightly. They are just one half of an angle bracket. So in a former life, they would have looked something like that. Um, I've just cut those in half. I'm going to flatten those out, smooth them off a little bit, um, and then they will be perfect for attaching the tags. Right now I'm just trying to get the positioning right, just figure out how far I want it to protrude uh, and how far uh, into the middle I want it to, to be. I don't want it to be too much over the speaker, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out what looks right. With that first one now out of the way, it's time to move on to the second one. The second tag is now fitted to the second board on the bed, so both of them lift up now. The screws protruded through on the second board when I put that one in and that's because there was no additional padding from carpeting on the board. And that reminded me of a job that I wanted to do, um, which is to just put some carpet stripping along the front and along the back of the second board, which is something I neglected to do the first time around. And so there we have it, there's a couple of improvements made to the bed. Uh, they may seem insignificant or small, but they make a big difference to me, uh, especially spending time in here. You know, just to be able to get in there quickly and without having to rearrange the cushions every single time that I try to lift up just one of the boards. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. Please keep following the series, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I've got plenty more builds coming, including a huge redesign of the kitchen area, which is going to be epic in terms of Dinosaurs are epic, uh, but it's going to be pretty big. Um, there's going to be a lot of redesigning involved there, and I'm going to have to think smart about how I implement it because, at the same time as it needs to be usable and functional, it also needs to be removable because I still have to use this as a van from time to time. So, yeah, thanks for watching this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. I've got some cucumber in my eye.